So Colt, we do this thing called constant time crypto with our code. What? What is that exactly? <laughs> yeah, so constant time cryptography or constant time um, applications are applications that take the same amount of time, same amount of CPU cycles, um, regardless of their inputs. So this is important in cryptography because if you feed in certain inputs and they're invalid and you can figure out, you know, oh, that was invalid faster, then you, you know, there are certain types of attacks on that. You can also figure out if keys are shorter or keys are longer, which bits are set, things like that. Um, Just so by watching the timing of how long something takes. Yeah. You can so basically like figure out a private key and break a crypto system just by watching how long it takes? Yeah. And that's just crazy. In addition, they if you have physical access to the machine, they can watch voltages on the CPU, like how frequently faults are happening. Um, there's a whole bunch of things that happen in, in this realm. So in order to combat that, the idea was that what if we just wrote it so that no matter what, it takes the exact same number of CPU cycles, the same things are always happening, regardless of if the inputs are good or not good. So like, what do you do in an if statement? You just have some like dummy instruction in the other branch? Well, so you can't even do that, it turns out, because if you do that, then branch prediction and things like that on the CPU still kind of uh, screw that up. So what you do is you basically use XORs and ANDs on integers to make things, uh, make it look like an if statement. But the CPU can't figure that out, so instead it just executes them anyways and re reverts the value basically. All right, so you have no branches, which means no loops with conditions, no if statements. Like, is it just stupid slow? Um, it turns out that on modern CPUs, it actually can be slower, but it also can be faster, uh, depending on uh, how you write your code. So because CPUs are generally relatively bad at branch prediction, uh, it basically has, can't uh, execute as many things in parallel, um, it turns out that constant time code can actually be, be relatively fast. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And so, so I mean, do we write our own stuff or was there a library? Um, so in normal big number libraries, uh, they do not handle things in a constant time way because you know then if you multiplied one times the number that was enormous, it would have to take a long time. Um, so we had to write our own big number library that's not super general, but it is, you know, uh, fits our purposes. And that actually gives you other advantages, like you can do things with like 31-bit limbs and 62-bit limbs and things like that. But that's not for this conversation. <laughs> so, so we wrote our own so that even multiplications always take the same amount of time regardless of, of what's being multiplied. Yep. Pretty sweet. Good work. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs>